Hi, I'm Tony from Tower Decals. Today I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Trump Blackout Kit that we offer. You're going to receive a sheet similar to this. You, uh, you're just going to be peeling these off and applying them. They don't have any masking tape. This here is our textured carbon fiber um, vinyl, uh, but you can use this method for any vinyl that you order from us. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is clean the surface real good where you're going to be applying the decals and then uh, and, and, uh, wipe it down real good. Make sure you have no dirt or debris underneath of it. The next thing you're going to need is a uh, soap and water mixture. Uh, just one drop of soap for a container about this size. And then you're going to uh, need some sort of squeegee or ID card or credit card. Um, the next thing you're going to do is soak the area that you're going to apply down real good, especially around the bow tie. <clears throat> and once you get it soaked down, you're then going to grab your decal. This is a technique that I use. You're going to want to peel up. And what you're going to see here is uh, there's going to be these pointed edges here. There's going to be, and that's the top. That's going to be the top of the decal. So once you pull it up, pull it up partially. You use your foot to hold the rest down. Spray the vinyl as you pull up. Make sure that the vinyl doesn't get stuck to itself or anything else. You don't want any debris. It's windy like that, especially. So I want to make sure I have the top portion right side up. And it is windy. And then you're going to slide it on. And if you come around here and show, what you're going to have is these pieces are going to line up. You're going to just move them around a little bit and make sure they tuck in. Some will go behind the, the uh, emblem, some won't. Once you get it pretty close, you can maneuver your decal around, make sure it lines up and it's not overlapping. It should be perfect as you can see right now. You can just work out any re uh, creases or wrinkles like that. Get it lined up nice and good. And then you're going to want to take that squeegee or ID card and you're just going to work the water and the bubbles out from behind the decal. You can see all the soap and water coming out. You want to make sure you get it all out. And then you can use your ID card to really push the corners in around the bow tie to get them nice and flush there. As it's wet they might not stick down all that great right now but once you apply a heat source to it, it'll be just fine and it'll stay stuck down, especially around the bow tie. All that water and bubbles and air out. Now, once you have that done, that's pretty much it. You can take your, uh, you can take a rag and wipe the water off from around it. It's not really all that necessary, but I like to do it. And then, what you're going to do is you can take a hair dryer, like I said, or a heat gun, and you can go around and really get this to dry on there. It's not completely necessary. This will dry over time. That'll just speed up the drying process. Um, with the hair dryer and all that, you're still going to want to wait about 24 hours before you wash your car. Uh, leaving it in direct sunlight will help dry it faster uh, as well, but um, these corners and stuff will stay down much better with a hair dryer. Uh, for time purposes, I'm not going to show you how the hair dryer, it's pretty self-explanatory. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install one of these pillars. And so uh, you can see which one's which by the straight edge cut versus that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel this off. So that's actually the wrong side, so this one. So just spray your decal a little bit. Spray the area. And then just put it on there. And it should be a perfect cut right there, just like that. And as you can see, that's pretty easy. Allow that to dry a little bit. You can squeegee out the water of that as well. But make sure you hold it in place as you squeegee because you couldn't move it until it dries. There you go. Hit that with a hair dryer and you're all done.